Hello everyone, my name is Shambhavi. Hope you all are doing well. So now we have another Python program to practice today. And now my question says to write me a Python program to check if a string has at least one letter and one number. Okay. Now my program says to me to, to take actually a string. First of all, I need to check that one. Yeah, I just take out a string, right? After that, I need to check that whether that string has at least, at least. Now, just please make sure to remember this thing, this word here, which we have at least, okay? At least one letter and one number. So, this is my Python program for which I need to write it out here. So fine, let me just go on to the one note first of all. Okay, so this is the previous explanation. Let me just uh, come on to a new line from here. Um, right here, and let me just took out a new color as well. Now this time I'm gonna take a new color. Let's say that's black. Okay. Fine. Let's say I have taken a string. Let's say I am having a string, and let's say that a string is uh, I just wrote out my name that is Shambhavi, and let's say I just wrote zero nine. So now my program says that I need to check that whether a string, whether uh, like I have taken a string. And that contains the character at least, at least one character and a one num number, one digit, right? So this, as I write out the program, so if I just enter this thing, so it is give, gonna result me the answer as true. Yes, because this is one of my string that is actually having at least one character and at least one number as well. Now here as well, let, let's say if I just take str is equal to, and if I just simply write, let's say Python, and other than this, if I do not write anything, so this is now going to result me the answer as false because my condition says that I need to check that whether a particular string is at least having at least one character and a one number. Both of the conditions are actually to be followed, not only one single condition. Okay. So this is the uh, like uh, whole idea of the program that the, this is the input that we'll be getting and uh, this according to this only we'll be getting out the output. Fine. Now how to check out how to apply out the conditions. Fine. Now, basically what comes here is um, you need to just first of all declare a, a function. That thing you are actually know that we are just trying out and writing all the, all the programs using the functions only, right? And just define out a function here. After that, take two variables, okay? Take two variables, any two variables and assign them as false first of all, fine? Then apply your for loop for each and every uh, character into your string. For that, apply a for loop, let's say for i in str. Then we have actually two functions. First function is is alpha, okay, and second function is is digit. Is digit we had already seen in the previous program. Now we have is alpha and is digit. Fine. Now we uh, this is alpha and is digit is it is need used to check that whether your string is having alphabets or not, okay. And is digit is actually used for checking that whether your uh, string is having digits or not. Alpha one is for the alphabets and digit one is for the digits to check them out. Fine. So I would be just taking all of those things. I would supply these functions and check them out. Fine. Now, whatever the uh, variables I have taken above. Okay. First of all, listen to me very carefully. After that, we'll be writing on the pseudo code. Then we'll move towards the PyCharm only. Fine. But first of all, actually try to understand that what I'm trying to do out here. Fine. What I would actually do here is that I would be taking is alpha and is digit. Now, uh, as I mentioned in the starting only, that will be taking two variables and assigning them the value as false. Now, inside the alpha, inside is alpha condition and inside is digit condition, what I would actually do is that I would be entering both of the values. Okay, I would be entering both of the variables, if one in the alpha and one in the digit. And now I would be assigning the mass to. So if my condition satisfies that, yes, if I am having any of the character into my string, then I would be getting the answer as true. And for the digit as well, it makes it true. First of all, I'd assign them as false. Now I'd be assigning them as true, right? And simply I'd be returning out both of those variables, right? This is how actually we are just going to proceed out with this program. Okay, let me come down and write out the first of all the pseudo code for this particular program actually. So let me just go on to the... This, one and just take out a color from here so that I can just proceed. Let me take out this one. Fine. Okay. Let's say I define out a function that is diff. Um, okay. Diff and let's say that is check str. Check str. Okay. And inside this, I just also pass out a string that is my underscore str. Okay. Let's say this is the thing that I have actually written out here. As I mentioned that I'd be taking two variables, let's say A, that I would assign at false, and let's say the second variable is B, and for that also I would assign as false. Fine, that I have actually done here. 
Now, what is my condition that applies? I'll be applying out my for loop. So for i in my underscore str because my underscore str is the variable in which actually I am storing out my string, right? Is my str variable in which I had written out my string. So I just applied that. So for i in my underscore str come inside this. First of all, I'll be checking that is my string having a letter or not. So my condition goes that if i dot is alpha, if i dot is alpha, uh, put out the bracket like this, is equal equal to, okay, not the semi quotes, is equal equal to true. My first condition. If this condition is true, then in that case, make that a as true. Okay, if this is the condition that actually is true, then in that case, take out that a as true. Fine, my second condition goes. Same under down, down this side, that if i dot is digit. I, now, second, I'm checking about the digit, right? So, if i dot is digit is equal equal to true. If now this condition is also true, so in that case, write that b is also equal to true. Okay, fine. So, this is the whole thing that I'll be writing out and then return the, the return these a and b as an output to me. Fine. This is actually how we are going to write out this program. Fine. Let's say I take my underscore str as um, a, B, C, 0, 1. Okay, let's say I just take, took out this string. So, let me take out a new color. First of all, uh, let, let it be like this one only. My underscore is your A, B, C. Okay, go inside my for loop for I in my underscore is That was A. If I dot is alpha is equal equal to true. Yes, that is true. So, from here, I get the answer that is true. Okay, from here, I just got the answer that is true. For B as well, it will check that. It will also tell me true. For C as well, it will check. For 0, 1. So, for 0, 1, my control of my program will go into this one. So, if I dot digit is equal, equal to 2. Yes, that is true. So, from here as well, I would be getting the answer as true. Fine. So, my both of the conditions actually satisfies here. Fine. So, this is actually how we are going to write out this program. Hope you got the idea. Now, let's implement the same idea onto the PyCharm IDE. Fine. Let me make out a function. So, dev str underscore. Okay, just one second. str underscore. Oh, oh, just one second. str underscore tick. And I'll put out a bracket here like this. And here I would just have my underscore str. That is actually my string. Okay, dev str underscore check. And in the bracket, I have my underscore str. Now, I'll be taking out a variable. Let's say that is a. And I would first of all assign that as false. Same thing for my variable that is b and I would even assign that as false. Turn for applying out my for loop. So for i in my underscore str, my condition goes like this. For this condition that for i in my underscore str, if i dot is alpha, okay, if i dot is alpha, is equal equal to true if this is a condition that it is fine so in that case make that variable that is a as true here fine next condition goes that if i dot okay if i dot is digit okay just one second i dot is digit is equal equal to true as well if this condition also satisfies so in that case write out b is also equal to true Okay, now come out of your for loop and simply return here, return this and this. So return A and B, right? Both of them have been returned here. Come out of my whole function, call out your function now. So my function name was str underscore check. So print my str underscore check. And let's say I am having my string, which is let's say shambhavi 09. Okay, let's say this is my string. If I run it out here, see what output I am actually getting here. I am getting the output that is true. Okay, I am getting the output here that is true. Fine. So, this this string that I have taken here, this is, a, like, this is actually having at least one letter and one number. Fine. Now, let me give it one more try here. And in that case, I will just only enter a, a simple character. So let's say A, B, C. Fine. Now, if I run it out once again here, now see what answer it is actually giving me. It is giving me the answer which is false, fine. 
now why is it giving me actually this because here i have inside my return condition i have written a and b right and above actually i have set out a and b as false fine so if my string is only having alphabet so it will only and only go into this condition it will not go into this condition so in that case digits my uh, this digit one will that is my b will actually not be false so not be true because it will not be updated because my control of the program hasn't gone inside this loop so it will automatically remain false only and true and false is always false so in that case basically it will return me the answer as false right so this is actually how you can write it out this program and you can implement and think of uh, think of writing out this program like this fine so this is a program to write out and to check that if a string has at least one character and num one number fine so this is how you can just write it write this a uh, program now if it comes for checking one letter or if it is coming simply checking one number or it is it comes for checking both of the things so now i hope that you'll be able to fairly fairly and clearly implement this idea this logic that how to check out that if a string has at least one letter and a one number right so this is all for this video till then thank you and take care